Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm joined today by the amazing Matthew Kelly who's playing the nurse in Snow White at New Woman and Theatre. How are you today? Oh, fabulous, thank you. I, um, I am playing the nurse, yes. Snow White is an absolute classic and you're here with others as well. There's quite a few exciting names in this show. Have you worked with Brenda or Ruthie before? Well, Brenda Edwards uh, has worked a lot with my son. She was on tour for 18 months in Hairspray and my son played Edna. And yeah, and he's now gone into Moulin Rouge playing Ziedler. Wow. I know. And I'm just finished Noises Off, which is going to the Phoenix Theatre. So we'll be in the West End at the same time. Oh. And Brenda is our bridge. And he adored Brenda. Oh. And I've just met her for the first time today and I can see why he adores her. She's such a talented woman. And of course she was in X Factor, which I was devoted to. Me too. Uh, were you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really, really? I've been a fan of Brenda's for years. She did Chicago, she's done Hairspray, she's done all of the great shows. She's, yeah. she's, she's had all the greats, that woman. And there's Ru talking of all the greats, Ruthie Henshaw. Yes. Who's yeah. also been in everything. And, and she's like pro proper actress and everything. She's, yes. and, and dear as well. So can we expect some um, good fun and banter in the pantomime? I don't really do fun, Perry. It's not one of my things, you know. But uh, they're delightful people to be with. Do you know what? I have a thing about uh, a show, a spirit of a show, because mm -hmm. I think a spirit of a show comes over the footlights. And so long as we all have a good time, because we're all playing in the dressing up box, I prefer the word joy. And if we're having joy in the show, I think the audience will have joy too and they will go out with joy in their hearts. Talking to which, Dick and Dom. Yes, what a Dick joyful, and Dom. What a joyful couple. <laughs> I mean, they're lovely. I've never met them before. It's extraordinary. And Lee Mead. I mean, Amazing. They're all delightful people. And I have to tell you, I have never worked in a bad company, ever. I have always, always had a great time playing in the dressing up box, telling stories, sometimes for children, quite a lot for adults, <laughs> but nothing offensive, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a thing in pantomime that's called uh, AFS, it's called Acceptable Family Smart. I shouldn't really say that, should I? <laughs> no, you but, can say that. But there are things that you can say in pantomime, uh, you can do in pantomime. I like things that, that, that adults like, that children will enjoy anyway, you know. Mm -hmm. But the adults will get it and children will go, ah, where's my ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you're playing a dame, which is the most iconic role in any panto, which is super exciting as the nurse. What are you most looking forward to about being in Wimbledon? Well, I played Wimbledon loads, you know. Uh, and what I'm looking forward to most is the fact that it's near my house. <laughs> That's my favourite thing. I didn't realise until last year I was doing a, a, a daytime telly show and when you do them you have to talk to a researcher and the researcher said did you know that this is your 40 day panto? I said I did not because I started in 1967 so I've been working for oh, 55 years <laughs> maths, not my strong point Incredible. But, so this is my 44th panto Wow. Uh, and, uh, and I do enjoy it immensely, I love being in the know. I love sitting in the wings and I can look between the wings and watch the golden thing that's going on and listening to the audience roaring with laughter and clapping and hooraying and shouting back. But they don't know how it's done. Yeah. But I do. And that's the thing I love the most about it. Plus the fact that I like dressing up. <laughs> Whereas the rest of the year, it's more of a weekend thing. <laughs> <laughs> dressing up as well, there's seven dwarfs in this. Now, if you were to be a seven dwarf, which of the dwarfs would you be? My very first stage appearance was at seven years old, which was 65 years ago, and I was happy the dwarf. Happy! Oh, so this is like a full circle moment then, doing this for the very first time all those years ago and now back. It is kind of, because I've never done Snow White before. And um, so if I was to be a dwarf, I would be happy. I think I've outgrown it now, mm. so I would never be. But happy is the one for me, and I got chosen it especially because I was. 
Oh. When I was seven. Well, you're going to make loads of people happy, including myself, um, at the New Wimbledon Theatre for the Panto, which is happening 3rd of December. 3rd of December to the 31st of December, the Wimbledon Theatre. And uh, you say that to all the boys, Perry. <laughs> you'll be saying it to all the others. I know you will. I know what you're like. Oh, well, I'm a, I'm a happy dwarf, so there yeah, you go. Well, We're both happy together. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.